Good morning, welcome to another vlog. I have gone four mornings without coffee. This is the fifth morning and I want coffee so bad. <laughs> it's not because like I feel like I need it, I just miss the taste of it. I mean, I have some decaf, so if I wanted to have some like decaf coffee, I could. But yeah, I really miss having my like morning cup of coffee. H for hippopotamus. Hip, hip. Hippopotamus. K is for kangaroo. Kangaroo. Yeah. Since I haven't been drinking coffee for the last few mornings, I still have wanted like a warm drink. I actually just heat up hot water. If I had lemon, I'd probably put lemon in it, but I don't. But I have my collagen, so I put a scoop of that. I just got this in my FabFitFun, the um, organic Irish sea moss with D3 biotin. So I've been putting this in the water as well. I feel like a scientist. Stir that all together. This does have a little bit of a taste, but the collagen doesn't have any taste at all. That's my morning drink, as of right now. I don't know how long I'm gonna go without coffee. It's kind of an experiment. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. So I got ready for the day. Elliot's up from his nap and I have all of this laundry <laughs> that I need to put in because I have been avoiding it. Are you gonna help me? Are you gonna help me do laundry? It's a lot of laundry. I'm one of those people that I think I'll still try and get it all in one load. I was also contemplating maybe going to the grocery store today. We'll see. I don't need like a lot of stuff. I just need to pick up a few things. And because it's just a few things, I can kind of talk myself out of doing it today and maybe just do it Sunday after church or something. I'm not entirely sure, but yes, I'm going to start on this laundry situation. <laughs> do you have a cell phone? Do you have a cell? Whoa. <laughs> This is one of Nick's old phones, but he would always grab our phones. So we gave him this one as a play toy. Ooh! Laundry is in. He's got a little snack. <laughs> yeah, is that yummy? I did my hair and makeup, but honestly, like I like my hair in a ponytail that's like up like this but I feel like it just gives me headaches. So it's probably gonna have to go down to one of the founding fathers pony sales, if you know what I'm saying. One of the things that I was reading in my quiet time, I'm reading a book, what is it? If, when, what, what if God wrote your to-do list? I think that's what it's called. What if God wrote your to-do list? And the one I read today, just alongside my like normal Bible reading, was talking about like your life verse, being able to share that with others or ask for other people's life verses. And as I was thinking about mine, two came um, to mind immediately. The first one being Galatians 2.20. I am crucified with Christ, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me and the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. That verse is just like, that's my life. The second one, I feel like was such a pivotal verse for me and it changed my whole trajectory on like my theology and my 
ideas of who God really was, and that was Philippians 2, 13. It's just a little chunk of scripture. You can read it in all of its context, but it says, for it is God who works in me both to will and to do for his good pleasure. And that verse, I had read a lot, but there was one specific moment where I read it and just the light bulb went off. And it was so pivotal for me and like my view of God just expanded so much that day because the fact that it is God who even gives me the will to want to do good is just crazy. That it is him who gives me the will and the ability to walk that out. And so just the powerful view that I got of God after that was just amazing. It was just like this poof moment and it just made me so thankful to have like the Holy Spirit in me to one, convict me to have the will and the desire to want to do good, to have the desire to want to follow God's plans, and that it's also God who gives me the power to do it. He gives me the desire and he gives me the power to do it, which is just incredible and amazing. So those two are for sure like my life verses, verses I go back to regularly. You want more? But it made me think like how fun it would be to hear what your life verse is if you have one or if you have a verse that was like a pivotal moment for you, like the Philippians verse was for me. Yes, you're gonna get another one. Whether or not you just wanna like write down the verse or write down the verse and like a little bit about like why it means so much to you, I would love to hear because I just think that's so cool that like, the Lord uses his word to reach us in different ways and at different times. Sometimes you might need my helping Just like I am Sharp and Zion Making me stronger Calling me higher When we come together Just like I am Sharp and Zion stronger calling us higher when we're helping each other we're growing together uh -huh. here comes the recycling truck And there's my little snack. Cucumbers with salt and some cheese. And he's having some cheese. We are gonna go to the discount store just to see what they have. I never know what they have because it changes all the time. To get us out of the house because he's acting a little bit fussy and I also just need a, a change of scenery. <laughs> Because stay-at-home mom problems 
I forget about like traffic, like rush hour traffic. <laughs> Every road it seemed was like super backed up. It ended up being a much longer trip, but I did go to the discount store and then I also stopped at Aldi really quick just to pick up like a couple things I need for the weekend. But some of you guys said that you do like grocery hauls. So I'm going to share with you what I've got. It's not like too extensive. From the discount store, I got a reduced sodium chicken broth. This is actually the chicken broth I get a lot um, and it was only a dollar. So I felt like that was pretty good. And then I also got the salsa verde in medium what price was this 159 this is great for like crock pot meals or chips and salsa whatever i got some sliced mangoes for a fun little treat i have not tried this brand gourmet grove um, but this was three dollars these looked really good i usually don't buy many snacks so how much was this one dollar. I got two things of taco seasoning mix. This one is chipotle and then this one is hot and spicy. I love to make like chicken tacos or like shredded tacos in the crock pot. So I like to have these on hand and 79 cents is a pretty good deal, um, especially for the Ortega brand. And then I got two things of pouches for Elliot. These are apple, kale, and blueberry, and there's four pouches in here, and it was a dollar for the box, so ends up being 25 cents per packet, and that's a pretty good deal. I got one thing of Kashi cereal, the cinnamon walnut um, for $3. I love like the cinnamon type foods, especially like this time of year. And then from Aldi, I got some tortilla chips to go alongside of the soup that I'm gonna be making. Got these cheese sandwich crackers. I had never seen these before there, but I love these, like the ones that were Ritz, and I also like the ones at Trader Joe's. So I figured I would try the Aldi version. I got some bananas, and Elliot saw them in the store and really wanted one. <laughs> I got a bag of spinach. This is really good for iron, and if you watched my last vlog, I'm trying to up my iron intake just with foods and then see if that helps. So spinach, um, I do eat spinach fairly regularly, so I decided to get another bag because we were out, and maybe I'll mix these in and have them with like my eggs in the morning. Because eggs are also good, like source of protein and iron. So if I put the spinach with the eggs and do a little scramble, that will be like a really good like kickoff to the day with some good iron rich foods. I got another one of our almond milks and then I got some ground turkey, which is for the soup that I'm gonna make. That's all of my groceries. It wasn't too bad. I really wasn't in either store for very long, but I was sitting driving in traffic for far longer than I was in the store buying groceries and Elliot was tired. <laughs> All right, well, let's just be honest. This is the last thing that I wanna really be doing right now. <laughs> but with Elliot being asleep, now is probably the best time to get it done. So I am actually I would either like watch a show while I do this, but I am going to listen to an audiobook because I am getting very close to finishing. It is called The Moonflower Murders by Anthony Horowitz. And I think I have about two hours left and the, the audiobook is like 18 hours. It's a hefty doozy long one. <laughs> So I'm gonna listen to that and fold some laundry.
share with you what I'm making for dinner. Um, it's super quick, easy, very budget friendly. We're just gonna be doing rice and bean burritos. I've got flour tortillas that I'm gonna heat up on the stove. I've got the rice waiting to boil. And then I have one can of black beans and I rinsed and drained them. So those will be added to the rice after that's done. Tortillas are heated up. Once the tortillas heat up, then I'm gonna add this salsa con queso on the tortilla and then the rice and the beans can go into the burrito. So it's super quick, easy. There's only what, four ingredients. So it's very budget friendly, which we love around here and it's gonna be delicious. So that's what I'm making. My battery's about to die. Um, <laughs> hi, sweetie. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. <laughs> Elliot and I say, say bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.